my name is Lena and I'm in 7A PE. I'm creating this video because in health, I learned about a healthy lifestyle and I'm going to talk about the answers to the three questions which are the factors of health and lifestyle, diet and exercise. My first factor is environment. There are positive and negative things about the environment that affect our health and lifestyles. For example, Natural environments, such as trees and other plants, give us good air, while they suck in the bad air which we breathe out. However, there are also cons about the environment. The major effect is pollution. People smoking, cars and other public transportations, and buildings such as factories are all negative effects. These worsen the global warming, and our environment is getting destroyed. Um, there are two personal evidences that I have and one is like wherever I go when there are like emergency staircases there are so many people smoking and there are like trashes all in the ground and it, it makes me cough and like just feels like I cannot breathe and another evidence that I have is um I went to Jeju Island a lot of times and Jeju Island doesn't have that much like car and it makes me makes it so natural and there are so many trees and plants and I can breathe so much better than in Seoul. My second factor is cars. Again, there are both pros and cons. The cons are that we would lack having exercise because walking or even biking or exercising. The pros are that we do not need to walk, which means we do not have to spend our energy and it saves time because it is usually much faster than walking. It surely is slower, but we can meet the nature and enjoy our time. I think it would be better if we walk or bike, if we do not have to hurry or there is only a short amount of distance. I've had a lot of um, cars personal evidence because um, I've ridden cars almost every day in my life, almost, and an interesting thing that I noticed was that biking was much better than riding cars or driving cars because when you bike, you don't need to stop for traffic lights, you, you can just go with the people um, in the streets, so it might be faster, but actually, logically, it cars are much faster than bikes, and otherwise, Cars are brilliant machines. My third factor is religion. The positive effect is that they pray for their health. They actually start to quit smoking and eat bad things which make them healthier. Also, Muslims do not drink alcohol because it is illegal in the country. However, there are a lot of negative effects. One example are Muslims. They try not to eat meat. That is not good because we need meat for our body to get healthier. I think they misunderstood some things because it doesn't mean that they shouldn't meet, eat meat at all, but it actually means they shouldn't eat only meat. They should eat rice and vegetables together. My personal evidence is from America in a camp and I was in a boarding school camp and um, my roommate was Hershey Gupta and she was from India and interestingly she was um, a vegetarian she wouldn't eat meat at all so even if um, like little of the meat sauce touched vegetables she wouldn't eat the vegetables as time grew on she got weaker and weaker and I noticed that gives you a negative effect if you um, just listen to religion too much I think you should like you shouldn't have those kind of relig religion laws. It'll be better if you just eat meat and believe religion at the same time. Because not eating meat is not a, it doesn't affect a re good result. My fourth factor is school. Schools affect health and lifestyle in both negative and positive ways. One example depends on whether the food is healthy or not. If the food that, provi that school provides is good, it is a positive effect. If it is not, it is a negative effect. Also, if you follow the disciplines and rules, 
It will help your lifestyle because you will organize yourself and your schedules. So my personal evidence、um, of school is that sometimes there are good food, healthy foods, and sometimes there are junk foods that I eat. And if I eat、um, the healthy food, it just makes me feel better. And also before I go went to school, I did I didn't really organize myself or my schedules, what classes I took in elementary. But in middle school, for middle school, you know how like we. Um, moved to different classes, so I began organizing my own schedule, and so my lifestyle became more, more organized.、Um, my fifth factor is my friends and family. There are pros and cons. The good thing is that your family would want you to eat and drink healthy food because they want you to be in the, your best shape. However, bet. Bad things are that because you want to be more close to your friends, you begin following them. They would start eating bad things, and you will start doing that too. Also, if your family is not in a good condition or is not wealthy, you might have to eat bad food, and would get stressed. It would be most important thing that affects your lifestyle. My personal evidence for friends and families. One of the things are my friends affected me because、uh, in school or wherever places they recommended me like unhealthy food, like ramen and those fast foods, junk foods, and I tried them. At first, I really didn't like them; it was too spicy. But after I began eating them again and again, over and over with my friends, I began to like them. So now I really like them. So I think it's sometimes they give me bad effects, but sometimes, most of, many times, they give me good effects by recommending me good food, healthy food. So and especially families, they want me to be to grow up with good nature and good food. So they affect me a lot too. Three most important things that I learned about diet are that vegetables are healthy. Healthy diet makes you feel good, and junk food gives you diseases, and you could get overweight. First one is vegetables are healthy.、Um, and an example is they're loaded with vitamins, minerals, carbohydrates, and fiber. It makes me feel better when I eat vegetables and especially carrots because of my eyesight. Healthy diet makes you feel good. An example is. People in the world choose to eat healthy meals to feel good about themselves. Nowadays, I eat a lot of vegetables and fruit in the morning before I go to school. It makes me feel so much better. Junk food gives you diseases, and you could get overweight. An example is people all over the world have overweight people. In the U.S., 55% of the adults are overweight because of junk food. One of my friends really enjoyed eating junk food from when he was young, and now he's really, really fat. The three different things that I learned about diet are that flexibility can be improved, the lungs take in more air, giving us more oxygen, and exercising makes you healthier. Flexibility could be improved. For example, dance and gymnastics improve flexibility. I've been to a dance and a yoga class with my friends. My flexibility definitely improved because when I started, my legs only stretched like as far as 70 degrees, but it's about 100 degrees now. The lungs take in more air, giving us more oxygen. For example, when people run, the body needs more oxygen, so they take more air in. Once I used to have a little bit of breathing problems, and once once in a while, I couldn't breathe well. After the mile run and the runathon. I got better. Exercising makes you healthier. For example, most of the athletes are very healthy because they play sports all the time. I've played squash, done swimming, yoga, dancing, badminton, and etc. These sports make me healthier. My balance in terms of lifestyle、um, is having a healthy diet,、um, a lot of exercise. Good amount of sleep and good amount of relaxation.